this is the real Tom Rose, and this is a this is a bit of a tough question. So they want to know the diameter of the circle. So let's draw the center of that circle. It's an equilateral triangle inscribed inside of it, and what I'm going to draw is a triangle. So first, I'm going to draw a couple of heights actually on this triangle that go through the center, that also go through the center of the circle. Now this smaller triangle that I've created is a 30. We know it's equilateral, so this must be 30 degrees because the other half must be 30, and it must be 60 together, um, which means this angle must be 60. Now the ratio of the sides on a 30, 60, 90 triangle are 1, 2, root 3. So if we are given that S is the length of a full side, then S over 2 would be the length of this smaller piece right here. This would be S over 2. So now we can set up a ratio. So let's call this X. Um, S over 2 over X is the same as root 3 over 2. Now if we solve for X, now by the way, X is um, in fact, I shouldn't have called it x. Let's let's call it um, r for radius, because it's the radius of that circle as well, right? So s over two over r equals root three over two. So now we can um, solve this for r. So we have s over two times two over root three equals r. So this is r is s over root three. But we want diameter. Um, diameter equals 2r. So we actually need um, s over root 3 times 2. And you'll notice there's no root 3 in the denominator. So let's multiply by root 3 over root 3 so that um, we end up with it'll be uh, 2 root 3 over 3 s. which is that second answer choice.